Are you wondering how to be the best couple ever? Are you looking for a special gift to give to your wedding party? Are you stumped as to what to actually give them? Today, we're unlocking a treasure trove of inspiration for one of the most important elements of any wedding, gifts for the wedding party. While gifts for the wedding party members are completely optional, they're very popular for today's modern couples to show their gratitude. Now, we understand the overwhelming pressure of finding that perfect present to express your heartfelt gratitude towards your wedding party who have been by your side through thick and thin. So you don't need to break the budget on it. We're going to give you some great ideas. Listen now and discover the world of wedding party gifts as we uncover unique and meaningful options that will leave your wedding party squad forever swooning. We'll give you wedding insider secrets for a stress-free, fun, and memorable day. Our podcast helps engaged couples navigate wedding planning complexities while addressing family expectations. Get concise tips on budgeting, wedding party management, ceremony, reception planning, and more. Perfect for anyone planning a wedding all in 30 minutes or less. Welcome to Stress-Free Wedding Planning, the podcast that will transform your wedding planning journey from chaotic to enchanting. Sal and Sam bring over 80 years of combined wedding expertise and exclusive insider information to the table. If you're recently engaged, feeling the pressure of wedding planning, struggling with family expectations, but still dreaming of a joy-filled wedding, you've come to the right place. Get ready to unveil the best-kept wedding secrets, discover practical tips and strategies, and learn life-changing lessons for a stress-free wedding. Your unforgettable wedding day awaits. We're here to take you on a transformative journey of love, laughter, and memories. So don't miss out on the podcast that just might change your life. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Hi, I'm Sal of After Hours Events in New England. I've performed at thousands of weddings in my 40 years as a professional MC DJ. Weddings are my passion. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions. With decades of DJ experience dating back to the mid-70s, I've rocked the airwaves, pumped up nightclubs, and made thousands of weddings unforgettable. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Learn more about our experience and journey to help you with stress-free wedding planning in the trailer or pilot of this podcast. In today's edition, Gifts for Your Wedding Party is brought to you in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Stars of Connecticut Wedding Shows. But first, if you have a question or concern, go now to Facebook and join us on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community and ask away. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Join us as we navigate through an enchanting realm of creativity where generic items are dismissed to make way for personalized and cherished keepsakes. Whether you're on a tight budget or have a taste for extravagance, we've got the ideas that resonate with every couple's vision and style. Remember, when choosing the right gifts for a wedding party, our advice here is to give gifts that will make your wedding party feel special. Sal, don't you agree? Don't give junk or meaningless trinkets. No. No. (laughs) You don't have to buy everyone variations on the same thing. So consider gifting each member of the wedding party a different gift based on their own likes and personalities. Yes, items that fit each bestie's hobbies or style will show how well you know them and love your unique relationship. So grab a pen and paper and let's go through the ideas that we've seen or heard about from our experience with our clients. Custom jewelry dishes with their name on it. I think that's a great idea. I think that's something that, you know, they'll put right on their chest at home in in their bedroom and put their most favorite jewelry on it that they wear most commonly. And every time they see that dish, they're going to remember you. And you can search Etsy for that, just putting jewelry dish and some pretty cute things come up. I uh, looked that up and because obviously I didn't know what a jewelry dish was. (laughs) So now I do and I'm an expert. Another gift idea is custom gifts from home. Now, if your wedding party members live out of town, so they moved from, say, Connecticut, and they now live in L.A., you might want to purchase some gear that's from Connecticut, maybe Patriots gear if they're into football or something from Mr. Aquarium if they're into the shore and things like that. So any type of memorabilia that will bring back memories for your wedding party so that they can take back as a gift home 
So this is a great idea for any wedding party member. Now, another cool thing is a customized tote bag. This is something that someone could carry going to the beach, going to the gym. And every time they see this bag, again, it's one of those things that reminds them of you because you gave it to them. It's a very personal item. So yeah, getting a nice little monogram or having their name on it, whatever it may be, just to make it unique to them. Yeah, it's such a simple idea that it can be for every member of the wedding party and fill it with some stuff. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But let me tell you about birthstones and birth date pendant necklaces. So everybody has a a birthstone. You you can just look up your birthday and they'll tell you what stone. And also a birth date pendant necklace. These can be one of the same or uh, different items. You can add that to, as we mentioned, the tote bag. So find out what each member of the wedding party's birthstone is and get them some jewelry. Find out what their birthday is and get them a pendant necklace that has their birth date on it. So two ideas that kind of mesh within each other that you can add to the list. So I hope you're writing all this stuff down because some of these are some great ideas you can use. Oh, definitely. You don't want to forget any of these. So another one is that there's people who love scented candles. So you could get a champagne scented candle. You could even get what's called wedding day. Yes, go to Yankee Candle. They pretty much have everything and they can actually customize the label if you like, to that person that is in your wedding party, making it extra special. Oh, that's such a great idea. I love candles and the champagne scented sounds like a a really good one there, Sal. Uh, You can go the personalized route too. So I'm going to give you two personalized things that you can do. Personalized glassware. So it's a classic wedding gift. I mean, this should be on top of everybody's list to give to the wedding party because it's such a general, generic idea. And you put their personalized monogram on each class. But you can also do the same personalization to yoga mats or or some other item that you know that your wedding party use a lot. Find out what your wedding party you're into. And a personalized yoga mat is something very popular. A lot of people do yoga. I don't because I, I hurt my back every time I try to do that stuff. His excuses, his excuses. (laughs) Another one is like a sentimental photo book. This is pictures of you and that special someone that you're giving this gift to. And this is something else you could also have personalized. There's so many places to do these type of things nowadays. If it's a childhood friend, take pictures from back in the day up to present. Uh, kind of bring them down memory lane. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It's very emotional and it will become a very personal gift. Now, another gift idea that I've seen a lot in the pictures that, uh, that we get back from some of the photographers, we always see these embroidered PJs. It's such a great gift idea. Again, it's something the wedding party you're going to keep forever. Uh, you can also do fleece shorts in the wedding colors of your choice. Again, This is a sort of gift that is going to have an impression on your wedding party and something that will last forever. Another thing is like a wristlet handbag or something of that nature. And you could actually personalize a lot of these things. Uh, Again, uh, something that that particular person might be into and they're going to remember it and feel that it's very special because it came from you. Again, these items that we're mentioning, you can give the entire wedding party the same thing. Or you can personalize a gift for each individual in the wedding party. So we've just unlocked a treasure trove of inspiration for one of the most important elements of any wedding, the gift part for your wedding party. We'll be back with great ideas like birth flower necklace, spa day gift cards, makeup bags filled with goodies, earrings, tumblers, and much more all right after this. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam, a podcast for engaged couples concerned about wedding planning and family expectations, but who want to have a stress-free, fun, and unforgettable wedding. Wedding Tip Wednesday is brought to you by Emerge Cosmetics. Are you ready to emerge? Our line of lipsticks, lip glosses, and mascaras was created to empower and become who you truly are. Strong, beautiful, and confident. Use the coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com for an instant 10% off. That's coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com. Emerge is the true you. 
On today's Wedding Tip Wednesday, we talk about paying the correct invitation postage. Not only the address and weight, but the size matters when it comes to your invitations. Square envelopes and certain enclosures can carry an additional cost. Physically, yes, I said go to the post office and ask them to weigh a sample envelope for a specific price. Don't just assume that first class postage is going to cover your invitations because 99% of the time it won't. It's nothing like opening up that mailbox and finding out that your invitations have come back and you wasted all that postage because you didn't use the correct amount of postage. So this is a thing you need to do. This is an awesome tip. And that's another tip from Sal and Sam. Wedding Tip Wednesday is available on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group page every Wednesday. Join the group for free. Did you recently get engaged or do you just need to put the finishing touches on your plans? Hi, this is Charlene from the Wedding Styles of Connecticut wedding shows. I'd like to invite you to one of the most fun, interactive, and informative events, the Fairfield County Wedding Showcase on Sunday, March 3rd at the Trumbull Marriott from 11 to 2. You'll enjoy entertainment, dancing, free goodie bags, and the chance to meet over 30 of the area's best wedding professionals. Our grand prizes include a Caribbean getaway, free wedding bands, and many other amazing gifts. So join us at the Fairfield County Wedding Showcase Sunday, March 3rd, and get your tickets today at WeddingStylesOfCT.com. That's WeddingStylesOfCT.com. Do you want access to a stress-free wedding planning process? Then go to our website, allthews.atmosphere-productions.com, and get my free report, Eight Questions You Must Ask a Wedding Professional Before Booking Them. Get it today. That's all the W's dot atmosphere hyphen productions dot com. Look for the free report and learn to shop like a pro from a pro and go from concern and worry to stress free wedding planning. You're listening to Sal and Sam on the stress free wedding planning podcast. I'm Harry Gamardella of HG Entertainment and I listen every week. Share this with your friends or someone planning a wedding. You can listen and download it wherever you get your podcasts. And now back to the stress free wedding planning podcast. Welcome back to our discussion about gifts for your wedding party. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions, wedding entertainment with expert knowledge and the difference in quality. Hi, I'm Sal from After Hours Events New England, the leader in making your wedding stress-free. We've already discussed custom items like PJs, yoga mats, jewelry, and glassware, plus custom gift ideas from your home state. Now, let's give you some more ideas. Let's start with the birth flower necklace. Yes, for every month, there is a flower that represents that month. How cool would that be, maybe for one of the ladies, to get a flower necklace that's just so beautiful, and it represents them and their birth month? What do you, do you think, think about personalized, oversized blankets? Sal, you, you've seen those before at wedding ceremonies, right? Oh, yes. People adore this type of thing, and this is something that will get used at home while they're watching TV and trying to stay cozy. This is definitely a good item. I love the idea. Again, you personalize it. That way it has the monogram or initials or the name of the person right on it. Now, I'm a big gift card person. My wife says that I'm too lazy to actually think of a gift, so I get the, the gift card. But that's neither here nor there. A spa gift card is going to win the hearts of everyone in your wedding party. Pick a favorite spa and give them a spa gift card so that they can go after the wedding and relax either by themselves or a whole bunch of your besties can go post-wedding. It's a great idea. So next we have makeup bags filled with mints or gum, hair ties, chapstick, Advil. You could also have lip gloss or cute little sunglasses. Just something that you could use anytime. Women have makeup bags with them all the time. There's even men who are wearing makeup nowadays. And you know what? It's good for everyone. Yeah, you know, we mentioned earlier on about getting a tote bag. And this is where my suggestion comes in, is what Sal just said. Fill it with stuff. <laughs> Don't just give an empty tote bag. Fill it with stuff. So the idea is the same thing here. The makeup bag, you fill it with different stuff. Cozy slippers go along with that cozy oversized blanket we mentioned before. It'll be great for after the reception. But those cozy slippers you can use to dance to 
at the reception. I would suggest if you live in the Northeast or a colder climate, add a shawl to that as well for the end of the night. It's a great gift so the ladies don't have to uh, go look for some cover-up. You've already bought them a shawl and they can use that for the end of the night. Again, customize it or make it plain. And the great thing about that, it makes wonderful dancing shoes, as you mentioned. You don't have to worry about the cold floor and being barefooted and just get to feel comfortable. Another thing is a tumbler with a straw that has their name on it. Tumblers have become a big thing in the last year or so. And customizing it, I mean, all the way, not just a name. You could put pictures on it or what have you, whatever reminds this person of the two of you in your relationship. Have fun with it. It's really sky's the limit when it comes to that. Yeah, speaking of sky's the limit, if you have a bigger budget, you might want to think of elegant earrings. It's a practical gift that can be worn for the wedding. So again, don't break your budget if this is not in your budget. Earrings can be, especially if they're gold, can be very expensive. So that's something that you can add to the list if you want to. I'm going to jump on Sal's idea of the tumbler. It's a great idea to have this and you customize it, as he said, with your name on it. And they take it to work or to the gym or wherever after the wedding. It's a great memory. Love the tumbler idea, Sal. Oh, yeah. We talked about the monogrammed tote bag, but now why don't we put something in it? You know, so you could have a nice blanket in there, monogrammed, of course, a coffee mug. Hey, monogram that too. Why not? Fun cups and straws, wedding day perfume, colored heart-shaped sunglasses. Make a little fun and give them a little extra than just a bag. And something else you could toss in there as well is an engraved gold flask with your favorite shot. How about that? I'm a particular fan of Goldschlager. So if anybody invites me <laughs> to their wedding, have an engraved gold flask for me of that, and I'll be happy for the rest of the day. But that's another idea, an engraved flask. Yeah. So, you know, the thing about flasks, they come in all shapes and sizes and different materials. For the guys, they have some nice leather covered ones. It doesn't have to be gold. It could be silver. Uh, they come in different colors and they can be all monogrammed, which makes it very personal. Another thing is a star sign guidebook. Now, what that means is everyone has an astrological sign. You have someone in your wedding party that's into that. You could give them a book that will talk about their sign and give them all the information about it, which could be a lot of fun for them. They may learn some things they didn't know. That's a good one. I'm a Scorpio, so I'd love to have a little book with uh, some ideas on that. I'm going to throw in one additional one is a box of cigars. Now, this has become really popular now. I've seen the groom will pull out box cigars and go out with the guys or with the whole wedding party and smoke a cigar. Why not have a box of cigars, your favorite choice that you give to the members of the wedding party? Obviously, if you're smokers, this is a great idea. If you're not a smoker, I'm sorry, this is not a good idea. It's not a good idea. And, you know, if you have those smoker friends, too, to kind of bring it to the next level, not, of course... It all depends if the budget could handle this, is getting a really nice lighter that is engraved. They make incredible cigarette lighters and also cigar lighters. That could be a nice little added touch that someone's always going to bring with them and it's refillable. So they'll have it for a very long time. That's a great addition to that idea, Sal. Great addition. A gift basket filled with a variety of coffee samples, and chocolate. You can find this. Now, this is very specific. Just type in artisan coffee, and there's a particular company that does coffee samples and chocolate, and they put it in a gift basket for you and can send that to your wedding party before the wedding reception so they have that before, and they can use it afterwards. Remember, with all of our suggestions, we want you to write a special handwritten note with each gift. Don't just put this stuff into the tote bag, for instance, and just chuck it at your wedding party. <laughs> the handwritten note is the icing on top of that particular cake. We really hope that you've enjoyed what we've gone through this list for you. This is our edition all about gifts 
free wedding party. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. So there you have it. We just shared with you gifts for your wedding party. Remember our advice to give items that will make your wedding party feel special. Don't give junk or meaningless trinkets. You also don't have to buy everyone variations of the same theme. Consider giving each member of your wedding party a different gift based on their likes and personality. Now, as you spend the next week planning your wedding, if you want me, Sal, or our community of stress-free engaged couples and wedding experts to answer any wedding-related questions, then join us in the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group. Once you're in, go ahead and share your concerns and worries, and we'll let you know if you're on the right track or if there are some things you need to work on. The link to join us is in the show notes of this edition, or go to Facebook and search for the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community. Remember to do something nice for someone today. And if you can't, then do something nice for yourself. If you've enjoyed what you've just heard, leave a review and share it with a friend or someone who would benefit from this information. Until next time, it's TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Thank you for listening to this edition. A new edition is released every Wednesday. Subscribe and get it first. We'll catch you then. Ciao. The Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast is produced and copyrighted by Atmosphere Productions in association with After Hours Events of New England. Sponsored in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Show Series.